America, the United States was growing so dynamically. The cities were growing in exponential speed. No other nation's economy would grow so fast. There was definitely a demand pushing the technology. The chief engineer would successfully lead his troops to victory. He brought to this country modern bridge design, and especially in use of steel. He had a fundamental task, which was to build the biggest bridge in the world. Who would you turn to except to Ralph Majeski? As part of the larger New Deal project, it both put money in people's hands, put work in their days, and got the sort of broader economy moving. He played the piano, but he also played the structural elements of, of bridge building. If you don't have some of that innate feel, uh, some of that innate vision, you won't rise to the level uh, of an engineer that Ralph Majeski was. He was also a man who lived within himself. Mother and son had shared a painful secret, a fact that had devoured them throughout their entire lives. Bridge engineers of that time, the early 20th century, were really kind of rock stars in that they were personalities, and Mojeski certainly was. It was during this era in our nation's history that a Polish-born, Paris-trained engineer would make his mark on America.